Welcome back YouTube, I have Ahmed again from In-Depth Tech Reviews and in today's video I'm going to show you how to activate the built-in screen recorder for your Google Pixel device. If you remember this feature first showed up in the beta program of Android 10 but Google decided to take it off completely after the official release. However in this video I'm going to show you how to activate it using an ADB command and I have here my Pixel 4 XL and the Pixel 3 XL to try it on both of them and show you how it works. But before getting started, let's make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified every time I post a new video. So let's jump in. To be able to use ADB commands with your Google Pixel device, you need to have a PC and to follow the three steps I'm gonna mention to you right now. Step number one, you need to download the required USB drivers for your Google Pixel device and the download link in the description below. When you open the link, there are two options to get the USB drivers for your Google Pixel device. The first option is to download the drivers only or to download the whole Android SDK manager. But I'm gonna definitely go for the USB drivers only because that's all I need for this purpose. Purpose. After downloading the drivers, there is another link in the description below that will show you how to set them up on your PC. Next, you need to download the platform tools that will allow you to use the ADB commands with your Google Pixel device. By this, we downloaded all the software required to allow the computer to communicate with the Google Pixel device, so let's start the process. Let's assume that you downloaded and installed the drivers for your Google Pixel device. Now you need to unzip the platform tools file that you downloaded from the previous link after extracting the folder you need to go into the folder that contains the adb.exe file then you need to copy the path of this location then open the cmd or the command prompt on your windows pc now you need to go to the root by typing cd backslash and then type cd space and paste the location that we copied from the previous step so now the PC is 100% ready to push the command to your Google Pixel device, but there is one more step you need to do on the device itself. On your Pixel device, you need to go to the developer options and activate the USB debugging. Once you activate it and connect your phone to the PC, you will get a message to allow this PC to access the phone and you just need to hit allow. Now my phone is connected to the PC and I'm ready to push the command. So I have it here on my sticky notes and you can find it in the description below as well. So just copy the command and paste it in the command prompt and hit the enter key and give it few seconds and you are done. Now the feature is activated on both devices so let's give it a try. Now let's start with the Pixel 4 XL. To activate the built-in screen recorder you need to press on the power button and then tap and hold on the screenshot button and you will get the same overlay menu you used to get with the Android 10 beta but it's a little bit more refined. And as you see here, there are two options to activate, the voice over recording and the show tabs or just record the screen without any of them. So let's give it a try. I'm gonna record the screen now. And you will get this warning uh, of exposing sensitive information of your screen. So you're gonna tap start now. And the screen recording is now recording my screen. And once you are happy with the recording, you just need to get your notification shade and you have here the stop button, just tap on it and you will get another notification with the video recording you had so you can play it in your photos app. You can also find the recordings under photos and then a new folder will be created called movies and when you go into movies you will see your screen recordings but because this feature is not finalized keep in mind that there are some issues with it for example on my pixel 4 xl the screen recording quality becomes very very low when i scroll or swipe in a fast way however if you want to get a decent quality for your screen recording it's better to scroll slowly now let's check the recording on the pixel 3 xl and as you see here, there is no issues with the quality. However, it only records the top half of the screen, which is definitely a showstopper. The problem is there is no fix for this issue at the moment. However, if I manage to get my hands on any fix for it, I will definitely share it with you. The only device that has zero reported issues is the Pixel 2. So please let me know in the comments if you tried the built-in screen recording, if it's working with you and what is your device model. So that's pretty much it for today. I hope you like my video and if you do, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.